Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the DUI Ad and today I will do a quick review of this portable spot welder. So let's do a quick unboxing and see what's inside the box. So we have a small plastic bag with the miscellaneous things we will need. Let me just remove them. Put the box inside. So we have a sample of a nickel strip. I believe it's a 0.1 millimeter thick. We're gonna use this for testing. We have the buzzer. We need to install the buzzer ourselves on the board. You can go without installing the buzzer, but I highly recommend it. We also have a screw and a bolt. Uh, I think this is to bolt, to screw the electrode on the board if you don't wanna solder it. I believe we're gonna solder it instead, but let's see. It also has a small charging cable, which is always nice to have. And of course, we have the two electrodes from the spot welder. Let me put them on side. And it comes with two shrink tubes, so you can cover the metal parts of the electrodes. So under this should be the spot welder. And just remove the box. So this spot welder comes with a battery uh, of 4,500 milliamps hours, which is quite nice actually, and it should be sufficient for our needs. So we are done with the unboxing and let's start with the review. I decided I'm gonna solder the negative electrode to the board. Uh, using a screw, we risk of puncturing the, the, the battery because the board and the battery, they're sitting flush. So having a screw underneath, poking the battery is a big no-no. So let's solder the buzzer, uh, the negative electrode and the positive electrodes. Actually, we can use the screw together with the battery to hold it in place. So let's do that. As you can see, I'm using the wrong colored electrode for the negative side. You can leave it as it is, it will not make any difference, but I decided to exchange them so I can have them properly color coded. Um, I also forgot to press record when I was soldering the buzzer. It's not a big deal, I just want to mention it. So, okay, let's continue.
After testing the spot welder, I decided to 3D print a case for it. Uh, it's a simple design. As you can see, it has, uh, it's slim. It fits snugly inside. Uh, it has the two holes for the electrodes, uh, one for the charger. Uh, uh, my first design had a hole here, so I will be able to push the power button and switch between the three modes and decided to use a leftover of a push button from a different project. Uh, it's a 12 mil tick, so the hole itself here is 12 mil uh, and it will work even better. It will have a seamless look. Uh, so the case itself is just two millimeter thick and uh, the light will shine through it. So there's no need for a hole for the light. For the notification and you can I think you can hear the buzzer from inside so we're gonna check what I'm gonna do next is I will solder two wires so I can able to bypass this button here so I can connect it to the push button there so let's do that now I also want to mention if somebody is interested in this 3D printed design I have made, uh, leave me a comment and I will upload the G-codes and link them in the description. I will also link the spot welder from AliExpress in the description if somebody is interested. I recommend not purchasing the option with case because the case doesn't fit so you're better off without it. We are done with our small DIY project to encase the spot welder. As you can see, it has a minimalistic design and it serves a purpose. So it's much safer. You can't accidentally touch anything on the circuit with your electrode. 
which happened once to me and it looks nice so you can also charge your device spot welder let me test go inside and another thing i did put grooves as you can see from the two sides i'm planning to through the print like stands so it can hold the the welder upright or you can put two from each side hold it under an angle so it would be much easier to use but i need to find the time to do the prints to create them so let's do a quick test again the last test using the device we're going to use a piece of wood i don't want to burn the table down so let's just fold it in half and i'm going to show you how you can use it properly so let's power it on make sure the actors are not touching you're gonna hear the sound and the light is coming on it's on so i'm not sure if you can see it from the camera the lights are pretty bright but i can see the light clearly from here it's actually like right here let me see if you can i can show it for you yeah so uh, when you turn it on the first setting is the lowest setting and how it would send the pulse to do the spot weld is the contact so you can use the first one doesn't matter which one to hold in place and then when you place the second one the pulse will be released you're gonna hear the beep and the weld will be done so let's do it Simple, let's do it again. I think this is quite good for the cells. You can see it's going through and it's burning the wood. Uh, but let's check the second option, which is the medium strength. As you can see here, let's just move it away. And we can also compare the burn on the wood on. You can immediately see it's, it's stronger. It's even fused to the foot a bit. And it, it you can see it. Uh, let me see if you can. The belt is much, much stronger. And let's see the third option. Which is the strongest one. And I would probably not use it for my batteries. Uh, maybe if you have like a really thick nickel strips, maybe you're gonna need it. But I would say stick for the first one or the second option. So but either way, let's, let's test the third one. Yeah, it's really strong. And let's power it down. And let's inspect the, the welds. As you can see, the first one is burning the wood not as much. The second one is more, and the third one actually is making a hole. I'm not sure if you can see. But you can see from this is the back side of the welds. The first two is the lowest, the second one is the medium, and the the last two ones are the highest settings. So the welds are pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use this spot welder for my e-bike project. My next video would probably be about building the e-bike battery itself. Uh, I will have a range of videos, basically a series of videos about my e-bike build and going from start to finish. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe for more.